Hey y'all, we're in Hongas. Splash TJ Maxx. Y'all, my face. You see this? You see this? I don't know what's going on. I have broke out in hives and it's just a mess. But we're in Hongas, so I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I like, that I see. So hold on. This will be cute for like a bathroom. Hold all your towels and stuff, your face cloths. I'm not gonna buy it though, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully it's still here when, you don't think so? No. no. No? Candles, 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 candles. I don't see not one black candle that I like. That gray one's pretty. But let's see what that looks like. It's like a bluish though. I'm not really going for blue. But that is pretty. Okay, so I decided to get this one. It's a little bluish, but it's gray enough for me. And then this sand and fog ocean mist. And it's $14.99. And this one is, how much is this one? Where is this one? Oh, this one's $19.99. So I'm gonna get these two. And we're kind of on a time crunch, so I probably won't show much here in the store. So, y'all see my nose? I look like Rudolph. <laughs> look at these paintings. Anybody in the market for a blue grayish painting at all? Those chairs are cute. If you were doing like a California coast type. This rug is very nice and simple. Y'all see that price? A thousand dollars. Good thing I don't need a rug that big. This is cute and it's made in India. That would be cute for like a dining room. I would probably paint it black though and change out the hardware for like gold. The infamous plaster paintings. <laughs> I don't think these are cute unless they're in like straight lines, but that's just me. This mirror is cute to Hari. That would be cute for a closet or a bedroom. Y'all, why we had to <laughs> hide the candles in the checkout aisles? Because we had to go, the line is so long, like it's wrapped around two times and we had to go get Kirsten from cheer practice, so. We'll come back later today and grab them. Hopefully no one found them. <laughs> we hid them under a whole bunch of things near the checkout line. So we about to go now. Bye.
Hey vlog. <laughs> so we're at the lot and immediately driving up we see some changes. So let's show y'all really quick. Y'all excuse my hair. Look a whole lot of mess. So we have our door lock, our doorbell, and our doorknob. So that's an immediate change we saw. We also have the electrical box for the exterior electrical. So that's it for the front. We do have uh, our LED lights up and that's honestly it for the front for right now. They have some extra trim out here. I don't know if that still has to go in, but yeah, they also installed our outlet for our electric car battery and our garage door. It is in, it's not closed, so I'm not even gonna touch it, y'all. We have a light, our light fixture, and that definitely needs to be fixed because, yeah, they're gonna have to make that a little bit more pretty, just a little bit. But we have a garage, y'all. I can't wait to get the little things from Amazon to put on there to make it more like farmhousey. But yeah, we have our switches in and we have that light. So we have a light show. We have the garage opener and we have our garage door. So yeah, we have our electrical outlet and our rocker switches and countertops. And our lights, y'all. We have our lights so we can actually see everything now. So rocker switches, electrical, our countertop is in. Yes. And this is the shower with the lights on finally so we can see and make sure this is done correctly, which it looks like it is. Our master bedroom. Well, our primary uh, bathroom, which is all screwed up. So yeah, okay. and y'all, I just totally didn't notice this when we walked in. Our floors are done. Of course we can't see it because it's covered, but our floors are done. Yes, we have our trim on the floor and our countertops. They look like the same countertops in our apartment, so this is not gonna be such a culture shock for us. So yes, yeah, sneak peek, y'all. Sneak peek, not gonna really make this a long-winded video. So our countertop, that's gonna be by the fridge, and we have our under cabinet lighting. We have our LED lights in, y'all. Our ceiling fan, which is gonna get switched out, definitely. All of our LED lights are in. And in the foyer, yes. All four of them. And our dining room light. Our 
our pantry is done. We have wire racks in our pantry. And this is our air conditioning vents. I've never seen them look like that before. That's pretty cool. That's gonna get switched out, but it's still pretty. I can sell that on Facebook Marketplace. So it looks like all the wire racks are in. They had to cut some drywall out right here. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but as long as they fix it, I'm good. No clue what they had to go up there and do. But we have HVAC coming out right there. Those are pretty cool vents. We have these vents upstairs, especially in the loft. All right, we have a light in our primary closet, two LEDs. Hey, 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 y'all. So it is Saturday. It is the uh, 25th of March. We're out here at the lot. You may see clips from earlier, but both my camera batteries were <laughs> dead. So I did like very short clips, but just wanted to show you some progress today. We have a sidewalk that's completed. So all the sidewalk is done on both sides of the streets. So pretty. And then our driveway is clean off because it was looking a hot mess in the last video. Our light is in. It just needs a couple of tweaks around the light because that just looks like a mess. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get fixed soon. We still have some beams that have to be put up there. Our columns are still not painted, but I wish they would do a lighter stain. And the porch is a little bit more clean off. It's starting to look like a house that's ready for closing. I guess that's supposed to be a tree over there. The trees look dead, child. Um, <laughs> if we gotta get new trees for what? And the garage, if that clip was shortened on the last go round. Yes. The tree grow? They don't look like it. So if we rush through the last few clips, this is the garage. We have a new garage in. Yes. This boy just gonna be itching to jump from here. Itching. It? So let's go in. We have that brick from the wall. We have our deadbolt in, Whoa. our keypad. And we have our lights in the dining room. We have our black doorknobs, which this is actually a mistake of the builder, but instead of switching them back to silver, they figured I'd like that, which I do and they left it in there. Our rocker switches. We have our countertops. Our sink. And we have appliances. Y'all, this is not the microwave we're supposed to have. That's a level two microwave. <laughs> we asked for the included. Now this stove is the stove we're supposed to have, but this microwave is an upgrade. That's another mistake that worked out in our favor. Our microwave we're supposed to have, I think, has handles. The hand is the exact appliances we have in our apartment. I do notice this microwave is definitely an upgrade. Our cabinets are in, our glass cabinets, our dishwasher is in, which later we're getting that upgraded once we get our double ovens in. I'm just trying to figure out which brand we're gonna get. So, if you didn't see it before, we have our flooring. And I'm not 
gonna be in here too long because I wanna save some things for the empty house tour. We have our floor outlet. And our balusters are stained. Our steps are stained. I'm think, huh, what? Oh, he done left. I'm thinking about doing all this black instead of the color of the floor. I gotta pray about it. But I think I wanna do that black. Okay, and we actually have our outlets for our TV plug. And there's a conduit right there in case we were to get cable. This up here, I feel they need to fix because that grout line is way too thick. I think there is room to put some type of skinny row of stone up there. So that's not as prevalent. It just looks bad. And some pictures I've seen of this same fireplace, the um, stone literally goes all the way up to the ceiling. So that's probably gonna have to be a fix. We have our matte black ceiling fan. Our LED lights. We have our two pendant pre-wires. So we'll install pendants after closing. And if you can notice the things popping out of the ceiling is our air conditioning vent. I've never seen AC vents like that. So that's pretty cool. Instead of having a big rectangular box, we have little dip outs where the air will come through. But that is the bottom floor pretty much. Looks so nice. All right, so carpet is going to be done last. Okay, so that carpet is going to be done last. I'm in the mud room now, so we have our hooks for the mud room, our bench. We have a plug with USB ports, which I think I'm gonna either switch that out or add some to the kitchen to accommodate the new the new iPhone um, female part, well, iPhone male part that goes into the plug. The new iPhones have a different, I think it's a C port or something like that. So I'm gonna get the outlets that have the USB and S, well, S port and plugs. So I may put one of those on the island so people can charge their phones without having to use a block. Some things that need to be fixed for sure. Um, this mantle is not completely mitered at a 45 degree angle. There is a dip here, which we already told the builder um, was cracked. Uh, paint job needs to be beautified right there. It's gonna be a lot of nitpicky stuff. Um, we have our floors in the guest bath which we chose to do vinyl because I want to possibly switch that out to tile later on. So it was no point in doing tile in here and we were gonna have to rip it out later. Our countertop is in. And they put mirrors in here, which we asked them not to put mirrors in here. We asked them to leave them off. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Our faucets are in. The water's probably not on, so I'm not going to set out. We have our toilets. Have to, I don't think that's a toilet we ordered, but I have to. It's supposed to be a higher height toilet. So toilets need to be on the list. And we have our shower frame, which is supposed to be black. Just messing up everything, child. We have our matte black faucets, but yeah, the framing is supposed to be black. 
All right, so upstairs bath. We have the vinyl flooring as well because we want to do the tile in here later on. Our faucets are in. And guess what's also in that we asked them not to do? <laughs> Mirrors. Mirrors. So now when I switch these out, we're gonna have to sand them, paint again. So we have our shelving in the linen closet. Again, this is our loft. The loft is so much bigger than I thought it would be. We have hardwood floors up here as well. I did notice they put the bull nose trim in. Um, we have a gap. I knew they cut that too short. That's the gap right there. They're gonna have to fix that. We have gaps right here under the bull nose trim. They're gonna have to fix that. We have a shortage of wood um, plank right there. They're gonna have to fix that. Oh child, they got a lot to do. <laughs> um, no point in seeing the bedrooms because that just has to be carpeted. We have our basin for our washing machine, our electrical panels for our cable and internet and all that. And this is our HVAC closet, extra wood. So now we see they're using the Mohawk flooring. Remember where I said um, those wood planks were cut too short, but even though they were gonna put the bull nose, you can still see some of the gap. So they're gonna have to replace all that. We have our ceiling fan for our primary bedroom. And our countertop and faucets are in for our primary bathroom. Again, they put mirrors in here and we asked them not to. So we have our vents. All of this was cut out because there was an HVAC issue and now it's gonna have to be probably re-sanded down because it's not smooth. You can see some of the plaster still. They're gonna have to fix that. And then we have our shower door for our shower. They still have not fixed our shower, even though they put the shower door in. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, yeah, it looks a lot better grout wise now that the grout has dried, but they still have not fixed the tiles that need to be fixed. So that's that. Um, our tub faucets are in and hardware, and that's still an issue right here. Extra grout that should not be there. So again, hopefully during the beautification process that will be rectified. Um, our toilet and our water closet. So we're supposed to have Gerber toilets, which are the heightened toilets. So we don't have to sit down as low. Well. We're supposed to have three of those. And in our primary closet, we have wire rack. in here which will be changed out for pack system so we'll have pack system running here pack system here pack system there pack system there probably a bench right here pack system pack system and then my vanity where i can plug up my mirror and do my makeup in here since we don't really have that much room in the bathroom here are our floors that look great it's just little minor imperfections, like here behind the tub. It is a widening of the grout line, which looks ridiculous. So that's gonna be blue taped. And 
that is pretty much for the tour today. Um, not much except we have staining on the stairs. And I'm thinking, like I said, to do this black. Got to pray on it. But they stain the stairs pretty much the same color as the floors, which it is a little bit off. Our floors don't have as much pinkish gray. So all that staining will probably be redone because there is a significant there is a significant difference. That's the major update for today. I know in previous clips you'll probably see that um, it rushed through, um, but that's because I didn't have battery. So we have our appliances, upgraded microwave, standard stove, standard dishwasher. We have our lighting, our LED lights. We have mirrors in the bathroom. We have faucets in the bathrooms. We have toilets and we have knobs for the doors. Well, we have doors and we have knobs for the doors. So again, I'm going to go through and check all the toilets to make sure they are the toilets we paid for. And then we got to ask about this frame of shower because that's supposed to be black. So that's it for this vlog. Um, the next vlog will probably be our um, homeowner's orientation, our walkthrough, because that's pretty much it. Countertops are in, cabinets in, appliances, mirrors, toilets, stairs are stained, and we have lights. So pretty much all that's left is the beautification of the home, our homeowner's orientation, and closing so you'll probably see me about two more times after this and then we'll have an empty house tour so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for those of you who are not new if you are new make sure you hit that red subscribe button below my name is Francesca Jeanette beauty lifestyle fashion and now home vlogging our new home journey thank you so much for supporting me if you are also in your home buying journey please be sure to leave your YouTube handle below so I can follow you subscribe check out the amazing things that's happening with your home build journey and support you and encourage you like y'all do me Love you, boss babes. Y'all have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye.